Two months into construction and things are heating up at the Murray site. Let's trim that edge up a bit. Let's make sure it's 75. The project has undergone rapid change. The concrete slab is down, the frames are up, and by the end of the week, there'll even be a roof. You picked that up actually uh, surprisingly fast. Oh, handyman, you know. Daily deadlines keep the pressure firmly on, but there's no denying that this beautiful home is starting to take shape. It's a big day for the build. The roof trusses are arriving, and Marcus needs to keep the pressure on his team to get them up, and meet the date he's booked with the roofing contractors. You do another couple of trusses, then you can tie it to the wall. A weatherproof site means all the subcontractors, plumbers, painters, electricians, tilers, can start work. Once the roof is up, Marcus will be juggling a stacked schedule. The Murray's roof has been designed with a low pitch, and there's a lot of it. Ensuring rainwater runoff is a very real consideration. Generally, anything lower than 8 degrees, you're going to go with your, like, your standard trapezoidal profile, which kind of looks quite industrial. So this one here, this true oak profile, you can go down to about 4 degrees on it, and it still gives you that traditional look. So what is the difference between the true oak and the standard corrugated? Well, if we have a look, we'll sit this up here. We'll just lay a standard roof on top. You can actually see that the true oak profile is actually quite a lot deeper. And another great feature with this stuff is the strongest residential grade corrugate on the market. So you can have um, all the tradesmen running across it and you're effectively you're going to get zero dents. Wow. That's really good. That's awesome. We thought we weren't going to be able to use a traditional corrugated iron. Um, and so to be able to use the true oak because of the gauge of steel, it's actually going to be really cool that we are able to use that look. So now, really, it's just about seeing the roof go on. We're um, going to have a roof. Yeah. We're going to have a roof. <laughs> and then we're going to have a roof shout. A roof <laughs> over our head. <laughs> The house is taking shape, it's starting to look really, really good, eh? The roof's just about finished, and the boys are just putting up the guttering. So why have you decided to use this Marley product? Basically, we wanted something that was going to stand out on the fascia of our house and just add that other design feature. And it is a good New Zealand company and 100% recyclable, so we really wanted to help support those businesses in New Zealand. So it was a no-brainer, really, to go with this product. It's been a smooth process. The um, pre-nail on the roof trusses and the supply of materials has been all good, so it's gone together quite smoothly. Contractors with the fascia and the supply of the roofs flowed on nicely, so uh, good timing so far with the project. From start to finish, the roof's taken just two days to install. It's a solid effort worthy of a celebration. I don't know whether I'll be cooking or whether we're someone else on the case. I don't think many people build a house in their lifetime and we're very lucky that we're able to and one of the traditions that comes with it is that you have a roof shout once the roof's on. Just a chance to get all your subcontractors and everybody that's involved in helping build your house. Just a way of saying thank you. Rightio Eric, um, got some nice little vegetarian ones to keep all the important people happy. I'll throw them that way. No, you can't. <laughs> Tradies love that. Sausage and a beer, nothing better. <laughs> Especially on a Friday afternoon. Because quite often we're not on the job at the same time. People come and go. So it's a good time to have a catch up and talk about the job. And they certainly appreciate it because obviously there's quite a bit of hard work goes into getting to this stage. And it's good relationships for later on in the job when people have got to come back and finish and talking to one another. So it's generally a good catch up trade wise, but a good social event as well. It's nice having our family and friends here, you can sort of show off the house and I've been skiting how big my walk-in wardrobe is, so yeah. We haven't been here since the floor was done, so it is amazing to see it at this stage here. It's really good to see it developing and it's coming on really, really well, it looks wonderful. I think they'll be really happy here and it's a lovely um, spot for Zach to be running around. Pretty much the hard work's behind us because all the bones of the building are there. We're well past that stage where the structure is nice and solid and um, ready to finish off. I think the hard part's still to come. It's the interior, you know, it's the real... Maybe that's a girl thing. The frills part of it all, <laughs> yeah. Kitchen's still to be picked, bathroom's still to be picked, colours, still a lot more to go.